In Gauteng, we are finalizing our 30-year infrastructure master plan for the entire Gauteng city region, which outlines our infrastructure needs regarding transport, energy, human settlements, broadband, and ICT, water and sanitation, and education and health infrastructure. From the work we have been doing on our infrastructure master plan, the following picture is image. Number one, that Houghton requires more than 105 billion rents per annum in infrastructure investment, both in the public and private sector. Number two, that energy, transport, and water make up 74% of our infrastructure requirements. Number three, that asset renewal represents 56% of the capital that is required. Number four, that infrastructure backlogs will require 66% of total funding over the next few years. Resource constraints will also require to be tackled through new technologies. Demand management, loss reduction, and waste management is currently required to ensure sustained economic growth and better use of the current infrastructure. And finally, that skills shortage and institutional misalignment should be urgently addressed. Mobilizing private sector resources and aligning private sector initiatives with our provincial development plan, the TMR, is one of the priorities of our administration. Many of you have heard me speak passionately about the need for us to work together with the private sector in moving the Houghton City region forward. Why should we work with the private sector? The recent study undertaken as part of our infrastructure master plan indicates that Houghton will need 1.6 trillion rands in infrastructure investment over the next 15 years. Ladies and gentlemen, 1.6 trillion rands is no child's play. And certainly we don't have it as government. As the Houghton government and municipalities, we don't have that 1.6 trillion rands specifically for infrastructure. So building meaningful and transformative partnerships with the private sector is therefore no longer a luxury. 